Hi guys, it's Heather with Lead the Way Canine Training, and I'm here with Pika. I don't know if you guys can see him out of frame or not. Um, and we are going to start doing some training with Pika. We're doing a couple different things with Pika. Um, first, we are definitely working on his general obedience. We're going to be conditioning the e-collar, um, teaching him to come reliably off leash. Um, we're working on reinforcing good, polite house manners. Um, and the other thing, which is what I'm going to show you in this video right now, is we are going to teach him a couple of tricks. But first, what we're going to do is condition him to understand what a clicker means. Um, Pika has a human brother who's very excited about teaching Pika some things. Um, we talked about this when we uh, met for our consultation, um, and I told him that I would teach Pika a couple of tricks, um, and then I would show him how he can teach him even more things. So I find that a clicker is a really great way to teach tricks. Um, it's also a great way to teach a new behavior in obedience. Um, but I think specifically we're gonna use it probably mostly for tricks with him. Um, so I just have a little box clicker. You can get them at any pet store. Um, makes a little noise when you push it. Um, it doesn't mean anything to the dogs. Um, it's not a magic remote control. It doesn't make them calm. It doesn't you know, um, magically make them behave. What it is is a reward marker. So it tells the dog, <laughs> Ooh, what happens? Rocking chair moves. It tells the dog when you hear this noise, you did something I like, and there's a reward coming soon. Um, so the first thing you have to do anytime you use a clicker for the first couple of sessions is called charging the clicker. So I'm going to just click randomly and reward. Uh, a dozen or so times until Pika starts to understand that this click has some meaning and then that um, it means that there's food coming. That's a positive uh, reward. Good job. So I'm not really clicking for anything right now. Um, I do try not to click for bad behavior <laughs> accidentally. But I'm just clicking and then giving him a piece of kibble. Um, I also have some treats in here. So click and then reward. Good boy. You can see he doesn't really know what this means yet. He just kind of wanders away. Um, but what you're going to see when he starts to understand is that when you click, he looks for you. He looks for his treat. He's kind of like, all right, I know my treat's coming. Where is it? I love to use clickers um, with tricks. Um, I find even more so than a verbal marker, I use a lot of the verbal marker yes when I'm doing obedience training with dogs. Um, but with a clicker, it's just a little bit crisper. Your timing's a little better. The dogs just tend to pick it up just a little bit faster. My own dog really enjoys anytime I take the clicker out. She knows that it means we're gonna do tricks or do something fun. Um, and she gets really happy and she's really excited and just kind of changes her attitude about training. Um, so it's great for tricks. It's great for, like I said, teaching behaviors. I love to use it with puppies who don't know anything yet. Oops. Um, we started doing this more and more with our puppy training clients. because It's a great way to <laughs> reward good behaviors and teach attention. Good boy. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do with the clicker for this session. And I'll do the same loading the clicker, um, click and reward, click and reward. Um, routine probably two two more times maybe um, the next couple of times I work with the clicker um, until he starts to really understand what it means but I just want to show you guys that's really what clicker training is it's not a magic you know wand it doesn't fix anything a lot of people I remember when I used to train years ago at Petco people would come in and buy them and they would say things like oh it doesn't work I click it at my dog and she doesn't do anything or you know I click it at my dog and she doesn't stop doing that or she doesn't come to me um, and it's just funny because I think people think it's like a remote control for your TV where you can like control the dog with this clicker. It really is just a reward marker. <laughs> and Pika's rubbing his butt. A reward marker that tells the dog they did something you like and that they're going to get a reward. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of info on that. Introduce you to Pika. <laughs> oh, there's a balloon. That's what Pika's staring at. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about clicker training or training in general, 
you know, uh, post a comment, shoot me an email, um, visit our website, and I'm happy to talk more about this. I really, really love clicker training. It's super fun, um, and it's something anybody can do with their dog. Young dogs, old dogs, any dogs. <laughs> Thanks, guys.